I want to make the simplest and most efficient RC vehicle possible. How should I go about doing this? Well, the first major types of transportation were sailboats, which harness the force of the wind to move. Instead of turning wind power into electric power and then putting it back out into mechanical power, why not just cut out the middle? Well, quite conveniently, there's something just like this called land sailing. This is a blow cart. It's so fast and efficient that it generates an apparent wind angle and can move faster than an America's Cup AC-75, which for those of you who aren't familiar with the sailing world is stupidly fast. Also, totally not coincidentally, I'm heading all the way up to Northern Maine for a blow cart race. Issue is, I only have a few weeks to get this done while also battling school and other stuff. So who knows if I can actually get it done on time or not. Let's get right into it. First off, let's define the design goals of this project. The two most prominent ones are being light and strong and as efficient as possible. For a lightweight and strong frame, I decided to go with some old broken hockey sticks, which are made of carbon fiber. Another big plus being that they're free. For efficiency, we need to use minimal electronics and use mechanical advantage within those systems. First thing I did was get some measurements of the hockey stick before jumping into CAD. So I just got the brace for the cross piece there, cat it up, and while that prototype is getting printed out, I'm going to run to Home Depot and get some axles for these wheels. I'm probably just going to get some bolts and nuts and washers and stuff like that. Next up here, I cut the hockey sticks down to size on a bandsaw. This thing is 4 feet long by 2.5 wide. The T-brace in the back, which holds the two pieces together, will be permanently secured in place with JB Weld eventually. Moving back to CAD for a second, I designed the adapter piece which should hopefully sit inside the hollow end of the hockey stick and support the rear axles. While I was at it, I also made a rough design for the front wheel fork. The way that the axle cap thing works is pretty simple. A bolt slides through the center and locks in place, and then the cap fits inside the end of the stick, and then the wheel slides onto the axle with a bolt on the end. Then, the T-brace for the hockey stick finished printing, so I snagged that off the printer. I set everything out on the floor in a rough layout to see how it would all look. So far, I've also made the majority of the sale, which I forgot to film most of the process of. It's made of ripstock nylon, and the mass is just a Home Depot dowel rod. The next thing that I wanted to tackle was something I'd been avoiding for this entire project, the steering system. This was a pretty complicated thing to just sit down and make, so I started with a lot of concept sketching and outlining essential behaviors and how I envisioned it to function. Things are starting to wrap up here finally. I finished up the sail with some battens and then sorted out the electronics for the steering. So this is kind of the state of things right now. It's the night before we're about to head up to Maine and I've been working on this today for solid five hours now. I'd have liked to have gotten more done than I have, but I'm gonna go to sleep now, and I guess we'll see how it works when we get up there. The next morning, I got everything packed and ready to go. I also brought a big cardboard box of tools and parts and stuff to continue working on it while I was away from my usual workspace. This drive takes just shy of eight hours, which makes this the perfect time to talk about today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is an online PCB manufacturing service that can make parts for your custom projects. They also offer really high quality 3D printing services, CNC machining services, metal 3D printing services, sheet metal fabrication, and even injection molding. PCBWay offers all of this with surprisingly amazing prices and turnaround times. Their services support makers like me to create cool projects like this, and they can do the same for you too. So another big thanks to PCBWay. With that, we had finally arrived. Fast forward to the next morning, and the land sailing event is starting to get going. As well as being a great place for my little RC sail car, this wide open runway made for some intense and fast racing, with the max breeze recorded of the weekend coming in at 47 miles per hour, and the max speed recorded around 55 miles per hour. Here's a quick peek into what all happened. Back to the project now, I set it up and started to walk it out to an open area. I realized very quickly here that despite having a full water bottle taped onto it, the cart was far too late. This is a bathroom. <laughs> That's wicked. It is. I think this thing's probably gonna rip itself to pieces. It needs more weight on it besides a water bottle. 
Got anything heavy? I then taped on some broken bricks I found lying around onto the chassis and that seemed to do just fine. I also eased up on the main sheet a bit so that it could breathe some more and not whip the mast around like that, at least not initially. I pushed it back out and I was insanely happy to see that it could move under its own power. I had come all the way up here with something I wasn't completely sure was even going to work as hoped, so to see it functioning properly was a great feeling. I think the biggest thing that I would have liked to do with this car if I had more time would have been to add a remotely adjustable main sheet. Having the sail fixed in one position all the time is not great for optimizing the efficiency of the system. To get going, the cart needs a more open sheet, but once it gets going fast enough to make apparent wind and move faster than the speed of the wind, the sheet needs to come all the way in to really flatten out the sail shape and lower the center of pressure. This sail, to begin with, isn't the best by any means, but it still would have been neat to try and utilize this mechanism, should I have had the extra time. Similarly, though I'm not sure how much of an effect it'd have on such a small setup as this, I would have liked to have added a remotely controlled downhaul or Cunningham. This also would have increased the efficiency of the sail. One last thought that I had about this thing was that this would be an amazing platform to run autonomous missions with. It only uses one servo for steering and could easily run off geographically placed coordinates with directions fed to it from a computer. Same goes for the sail trim if I'd gotten that working. This is out of my skill range. I've yet to dabble with that sort of stuff, but it is really interesting to me. These next few runs here were probably the fastest that I got on video, probably somewhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour. I also got a sick video with my phone taped onto it. I forgot my GoPro, so tape in an iPhone was the best that I could do. I'm not thrilled with how shaky the footage was, but oh well, still turned out pretty cool. The one thing that I kept saying to myself every time I used the cart up in Maine was the steering was so poorly designed. I had made a pushrod system transferring the torque from the servo linearly to a control surface on the steering axis. Why didn't I just use gears to begin with? I don't know. It offers a constant mechanical advantage over the system and allows for an overall greater mechanical advantage as well. When I got home, this was the first thing that I changed. I modeled some gears and replaced the old steering system, and I could tell it already worked a lot better. I was seriously running out of time to get this whole video wrapped up, so I went to a local empty parking lot on what should have been a breezy night to test out the new steering configuration. Unfortunately, there was absolutely no breeze at all. Even still, I was really happy with how well the thing worked for the little time that I had to throw it together. If you have any ideas for this thing or future projects, please let me know in the comments. Thanks again if you've made it this far, and I apologize for the infrequent uploading. School gets in the way like that. See you in the next one.